ask. The clerk will read the motion. A motion offered by Representatives Delbene and Washerman Schultz. Ms. Delbene and Ms. Washerman Schultz move that the Committee on the Budget direct its chairman to request on behalf of the committee that the rule for consideration of the American Health Care Act of 2017 make in order an amendment that would strike language that accelerates the insolvency of the Medicare Hospital Insurance Trust Fund by three years by repealing the additional Medicare tax on high income workers. Ms. Delvenny is recognized for a total of 10 minutes with one minute reserved to close. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, one of the most unconscionable parts of this incredibly dangerous bill is that it directly attacks seniors and the Medicare program. Medicare is a lifeline for more than 58 million Americans, including 90,000 in my district alone. My motion would protect seniors and Medicare by eliminating the irresponsible provision that robs the Medicare trust fund of $170 billion. The bill we're considering today unnecessarily weakens the trust fund solvency by three years. And it does this by providing the top 0.1% of the wealthiest Americans a tax cut of more than $200,000 a year. This is a tax cut they didn't ask for and don't need, and it comes at the expense of our nation's seniors. It's truly shameful. Every day, 10,000 Americans turn 65. They expect Medicare to be there for them, just as it was for generations before. In 10 years, 75 million Americans will rely on Medicare for affordable, quality health care. We should be strengthening Medicare, not setting our country on a path towards another unnecessary manufactured crisis. Medicare reduces poverty and ensures seniors and people with disabilities always have access to the care that they need. I recently sat down with three seniors in my district at one's kitchen table, Doris and Lance in Kirkland and Grace from Redmond. They told me how important the Medicare program is to each of them by providing the kind of coverage they need at a price they can afford. If this bill goes forward with this provision intact, robbing the Medicare trust fund and damaging the program's future, it's Doris, Lance, Grace, and so many others like them that will be harmed. We should not be passing a bill that does nothing to improve anyone's life, and especially not a bill that ultimately forces seniors to pay more for their care. It's hard to believe we're even here having this debate. The way to ensure our health care system is working is to build off of the reforms we've already made and make improvements, like allowing Medicare to negotiate drug prices. This bill does the exact opposite. Older Americans want to see Medicare strengthened and preserved for generations, not attacked. And it's just another broken promise from this president who repeatedly committed not to cut Medicare. This motion would restore that promise, scrapping a provision that directly attacks seniors and people with disabilities for no other reason than to give a tax cut to the wealthiest Americans. Whether you're a Democrat or a Republican, it makes no difference right now. This bill makes no sense, and we all know it. Certainly not for seniors and not for those with disabilities. So for Lance, for Doris, for Grace, and millions around the country just like them, I urge my colleagues to support this motion and I yield back.